Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll try to show you how to port your global offensive maps into Counter-Strike 2. That means porting it from Source 1 into Source 2. This is my wingman map I'm gonna be porting today. So let's get started. First of all, you're gonna have to download Python. You just go out to python.org and download Python while using this button. You just click next, next, next. It's an easy installation. If it asks you to install pip, you're gonna say yes to that. And if it asks you to install or set up pipe, uh, pet directory, you're also gonna say yes to that. After you have installed Python, you're gonna check if it's properly installed. You just open your command line, and type Python. And if it opens a Python, you're good to go. If not, check your installation. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube to get you started with Python. Next, we have to install a package called Colorama. So we do this by typing pip install Colorama. And it will install for you. I already have it installed because I've installed it previously. Next, we will look into the import scripts. Uh, Counter-Strike 2 does come with import scripts, but they are broken for me. I don't know why, but they crash for me. And they also are for Python version 2.7, which I don't have. And that wouldn't be such a problem, but the crashing is a much bigger problem. Luckily, some guy on GitHub uh, ported the scripts for Python 3 and fixed some of the issues. You can check out the GitHub page and we're going to be using them. So go ahead and download them. And once they are downloaded, just extract them somewhere. I'm going to be using my C directory. Open up command line in it and let's get ready. First, we will need to open Counter Strike 2 uh, tools. So go ahead and open Counter Strike 2 tools and let's create a new add on. Call it however you want. I'm just going to call it port test. Avoid using any special characters, the import script really hates them, so just simple letters and maybe an underscore do work, I would avoid using anything special. That's pretty much it, uh, what we have to do in Counter-Strike 2 tools, we can just close them, and we can start using our script. So this is the command how we launch the script, and we will have to fill out uh, the parameters correct. First is source one game info path. This is basically your Counter Strike global offensive path. So you will go into your CSGO folder, CSGO, and this is the folder uh, the script wants. So you just uh, copy the path to it and replace. CSGO game info part with it. Next is source one content path. That's where your map files are located. Here is one of the biggest problem of the scripts because the, they crash a lot if the directory contains special characters or spaces in them as well. That's why it's good to just create on your C drive a folder called something like map sources where you I'm gonna create a new one and here you treat it like a standard source file structure so you can create a folder called maps and here you will put your map you wanna port so this is my map and you're just gonna copy it in. Next you might uh, have to 
if you are using custom models or textures or materials, you will also have to put them here. Unfortunately, this map is quite old and I have no idea uh, if I have custom files for it. So what I just did was to grab materials, models and... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Do those two folders from my CSGO folder and just copy it in. It will take some time, it's 12 gigabytes, so I've already done it here. You can see all the materials and models from Global Offensive are here. With also my map. So this is the path we're gonna put into the script. Let's see map sources. Next is the source to game info path. This is again into your Counter Strike 2 installation. It's where your global offensive is, then game, then CSGO. And that's it. So go ahead and copy it in. Next is the source to add-on name. This is the name you chose for your add-on name in Counter-Strike 2. I called it port underscore test, so I'm gonna name it like that. And last is the Counter-Strike Global Offensive map name. So in my case, it's the reactor. And that's it, you just hit enter and it should import. It will ask you if you are sure to do it because if you, uh, and it will overwrite anything that was in the port underscore test add-on. We created it just now so it's empty. We can go and hit enter and it will start porting your map. And we should be good to go. It will give you some errors. Unfortunately, that's bound to happen. I don't know how to fix them. It just can't find certain materials, even though they exist. It will also try to import the map that's located in your global offensive folder. That's why it says one failed, but it at least imports the one from the map sources folder we created. So now we can just go ahead and launch the port test. And Counter-Strike just crashed for me, okay. All right. Now we open Hammer Map Editor. We go File, Open. In CSGO Add-ons, we go into Port Test, Maps, and you can see we have our maps ported here. For some reason, it will uh, port the map as a prefab, and then it will load it in into uh, the map you named. I don't know why that uh, why it's doing it like that, but it's in your prefab for some reason. And you can see that the map is running in source two just fine. You can see there are some errors here and there, missing models, missing textures. That's bound to happen, but the basic geometry is there. And now it's up to you to fix it and to port your map and to finish the porting job. So I hope I've showed you a bit how to do the porting job and you won't have as much trouble as I did before I get it running for the first time.